In this video, we're going to talk about some of the most important tips that you can have on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 23. If you want to get better on defense, I suggest you watch all of these videos uh, or all these tips to the end. And uh, we're going to be talking today out of the 46 playbook. If you guys want to get my all of my defensive ebooks, we I actually go in depth and break down my ins and outs and everything that I do defensively in my schemes, make sure you check out the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to all of that material. So it's all encompassing of the defensive scheme and again the link is in the description so the thing i wanted to talk about in this video is i wanted to talk about what makes what makes a great defense and it's really a kind of a spin-off of a conversation a couple conversations um that i've had over the course of my madden career with just different really really good players and if you if you whittle down defense there's a real life example of this and a madden example of this um if you whittle down defense it comes down to basically two key statements um, that I've heard one of them was in a real life defensive guru of a coach and the other one was a Madden uh, a, a comp Madden player the comp Madden player said if you boil it down defense is adjustments defense is all about adjustments right that simple statement now if you um, take the real life coach and a fellow or the real life coach example of what makes a great defense you ask that question this defensive guru of a coach he actually came back and he said the biggest key to defense is knowing how to fix your defense and then these are kind of saying the same basic thing. Um, my favorite defense is the defense that I know how to fix. What does that mean in terms of Madden? It means the defense you know how to adjust. Okay, that is really, really important. So um, I'm just going to jump on the field here and bunch. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite defenses in the game, which is the Nickel 3-3 Cub. You can get this entire defensive ebook on the Patreon for just $10. It gets you everything on the Patreon site, over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks. The only audible we're going to set is Cover 4 Show 2. We're going to come out with our zone coverage on match. And the other key to this is we're going to come out in the Nickel 3-3 formation because it's going to allow us to get the best personnel on the field uh, for this defense. Now, why do I like this defense? Because I know how to fix it. That is really important. So you can actually run um, an entire defensive scheme out of Mike Blitz Zero, or Cover 4 Show 2, or Cover 3 Buzz, or Cover 2. And the, the cool part is these are all different defenses. So what I like to do, and you can kind of, again, mix and match some of these principles, but one of my favorite defenses in the game is Mike Blitz Zero, we're going to man the linebacker up on the running back and the other linebacker up on the tight end. So you see here, everybody's pressed up. We're going to put both safeties in deep halves, and we're going to shade our coverage underneath. This is one of the best defenses in the game from a man coverage perspective. It's very safe. It's very difficult to get beat over the top with this defense. And you are going to funnel everything to where your user is standing in the middle of the field. And it is a sin three concept. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what I just said. I said that you could funnel everything into the field in the middle of the field. I also said it's a sin three concept. A sin three concept just simply means we're sending three people at the uh, at the computer. Now, a little pro tip for defense. I'm not going to spend a whole video talking about this at least yet. But one of the things that's super important is if you are blitzing three defensive linemen you need to be blitzing your user. If you don't blitz your user and you send these three linemen, you are not going to get as good of sheds as you see here. I had a lot of time in the pocket, and then I'll show you what it looks like if I was to send my user or tell the game that my user is blitzing so the game thinks, quote unquote thinks, that there are four people uh, blitzing. I'm now going to do that, and what you're going to notice is we're going to start to get better sheds uh, from these defensive linemen. They're fighting much harder, and we're able to kind of get somebody in. Now, obviously, ratings do make a little bit of a difference in this. I don't have the best defensive line right now um, for this video, but this is just something you need to consider. Okay, Another way that you can kind of get at this is spreading your line, um, doing some things like this to create mismatches, and you see there we get the quick shed, and we're going to get the sack. Okay, so a send three concept. We're only sending three people at the quarterback. We're going too high. Um, we have two high safeties. What two high safeties does, the other thing that is really important defensively um, and a key to defense is making everything look identical. I don't want them to know the difference between my match coverage and my man coverage, between my cover three and my cover two. So let me show you an example. If I audible 
oh, um, what this is how you can run the entire defensive system out of one real out of one basic defense. If I audible to cover for, for show two, one of the most important things I can do with this is go ahead and turn this defense to man align so that the defense will actually play similarly to this and this is why what we'll do if we run something like this in real life is we'll take this nickel corner and this nickel corner is now going to be a a kind of man coverage safety or man coverage player we can also drop him into a vertical hook um we're not going to leave him in that purple uh because of the fact of what i just said because here's what's going to happen let's say that they um they let's say that they set up a concept that looks like this and they're going to motion snap the slot receiver you're going to notice here that my slot is going to travel. So why not just man the slot up on the traveling on the traveler? And then now you see here, the coverage is going to play really, really well uh, when we do something like that. So those are some examples. Um, making everything look the same has to do a lot with alignment and assignment. Three of the biggest keys to defense I learned from a, a coach who said, if I could boil defense down to three things, it's alignment slash assignment, it's tackling, and it's running to the football simplify your defense you can be a very good cover three team you can be a very good cover two team you can be a very good cover four team you could do all of the things out of a man coverage right because for man coverage i can adjust okay back to the madden piece i can adjust and this coverage now is going to look like man coverage but it's going to be a five-man pressure so even if they motion even if they motion across i've got somebody that's going to travel and you know you can then go ahead and adjust this however you want. Maybe you want it something like this, and you've got your five-man pressure coming in at the quarterback, and they don't have the ability to recognize that you've now changed the coverage in behind it. That is kind of the back and forth, in my opinion, um, of Madden. You've got to be able to adjust your defense. The best defense in the game is a defense that you know how to fix. Uh, what that simply means is you've got your adjustments down and you know what is your plan for defending gun tight? What is your plan for defending bunch? What is your plan for defending bunch tight end? What is your plan for defending U trips? You have to know that. And then also, how how do I adjust on the fly? So what is my random, what I call, I call these like my random um, base shells, right? A base shell. So for example, a base shell could look something like this. Um, in this example, we could play cover two, uh, we could play cover two to the short side, and we're going to play cover three to the wide side. Okay, something simple like this with maybe two vert hooks. This is a great little base coverage because why? Because it's already pre canned into what we have. Um, same thing with cover four, right? I think cover four is a great base coverage because we already kind of know we're going to do some variation of something like this right here. Okay, or it could look a little different. You know, maybe we take the linebacker and we drop him, and then we do something like this. And now this is cover four quarters, is basically what this defense is. So, how are you going to defend some of the basic formations? I think is a key thing you have to answer. The other thing I think is a key is you have to have a good blitz. You have to make it all look the same. And you have to remember that defense is all about adjusting to your opponent's tendencies. Because, for example, let's say they're throwing a snap throw wheel. Um, you know, let's say they're let's say they're doing the snap throw, um, the snap throw wheel route. When we send five, they're gonna they're gonna snap throw the wheel route to the back. Okay, so they do that to us a couple times. Then what we can do is say, okay, well I know that I want to go to a main coverage call because I want to send five. I want to send pressure with five. We're gonna man up the solo safety on that guy, and then we're gonna man this guy up on the wheel route. So now they try to throw a wheel route, and the cornerback's right there. That's just a simple little example of how do I adjust this defense to take away what they're doing? And if you can answer these questions, you're gonna be answering these questions a lot based on tendency. You're gonna be answering those questions a lot based off of also some of your foreknowledge of what do these formations actually do well. For example, in bunch, what are the things you have to worry about bunch? You have to worry about the C route to the left side. You have to worry about the flood concepts to the right side. You have to worry about the seam wheels to the tight end. There's a lot of things that you have to worry about in this formation, right? So maybe an example of an oversimplified adjustment is just putting that right side or that left side guy into third, and then maybe on the right side we drop a third, and then we go with some kind of unique uh, coverage adjustments. However, we want to set that up or structure that. Those are just some basic examples of. The fact of, I know that this formation is good at X, Y, Z. How am I going to adjust my defense to defend X, Y, and Z? And you obviously don't want to overcomplicate adjustments because adjustments can certainly be overcomplicated. But what you do want to do is you want to have 
some basic adjustments to how am I going to stop if they do this, this, and this. Problem solving is one of the biggest keys to defense. Uh, so that's just something to think about. To wrap this video up and kind of give you the, the nutshell uh, of this, you've got to have some, you got to have a blitz. You've got to make every play look the same. You've got to have base coverage calls. It could all be cover two. It could all be cover three. It could be all cover four. It could be a mixture of all of those coverages. But what is your base defense? And you, in all of these things, have to know how to fix your defense. If you want to learn how I run defense, check out the Patreon in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.